2019 OT4V Winter Park Ski Trip. I've got Joey Woodkey here. Right here, guys. Here he is. How you doing? This guy, he's a combat veteran. He's dope. He went out there, he skied, he had a lot of fun. Let's hear your story about OT4V. What's it done for you? And how was your Winter Park ski trip for OT4V? Oh man, this week was just, I mean, it's a pretty amazing week. I've known uh, Michael Paul, I've been a part of OT4V for about four years now. And uh, Winter Park is one of the better mountains, if not the best mountain I've ever gone skiing on. Um, yeah, everybody's just laughing. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it's just, it's just a lot of fun. It's a really great experience. Nice, nice. When uh, when you got off the flight in Denver, what were your thoughts? And how has OT4V benefited you? That was two questions in one. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, I kind of knew what to expect. I've been on, this is my third year going on trips with Michael Paul on, on Target for Vets. Um, so I knew what we were getting into for skiing and everything that I know, you know, all of you guys and everything. Uh, it was just, I was just excited. Hell yeah. Ready, ready to hit the slopes and um, see what the week happened. And, nice. Uh, it was just, I mean, it was really what I expected. It was a great time. Hell yeah. And how has OT4V, OT4V benefited you in a sense of, I don't know, are you inspired? Are you... Um, Get, well, just giving uh, back. But. Yeah, like I want to help. I want to start giving back more and just, you know, Michael Paul's works ethic about helping all of us, you know, here at the stand and everybody. Um, it's pretty inspiring. He, you know, he puts in the work and then you know, we all benefit from that. Um, so seeing that makes me want to work harder. Um, I don't know, it's just good shit. Yeah, I mean, basically, yeah. So the last part, here we go, guys. Here's the really cool part about all this, guys, is that guy you I just interviewed, Joey Woodkey, he's a double amputee. He skied out there on a mono ski, right? Yeah. On a mono ski. What that means is he was actually in like a chair, and it's just one sled underneath him, but he's still out there doing it, making it happen, not complaining. Actually, he's highly motivated, he's extremely excited the whole trip, and never once do you hear, oh man, this hurts or that. No, it's the complete opposite. And if that doesn't motivate you, I don't know what does. So, the last part I'm gonna ask is, what happened, and, and maybe tell your story about what's it like being in a mono ski as a WMT. Well, I mean, I, I, uh, I guess you gotta, you gotta go backwards a little bit on that. I, was, uh, uh, I wasn't born disabled. I was wounded in the military. Um, so when I was first wounded, I, you know, really just kind of made me like, think like what am I gonna be able to do again and then organizations like on target for vet um, they just really like open your eyes about what you're capable of no matter what um, cards you're dealt in life um, so you know I met Michael Paul through sled hockey which many of us in this van and stuff play and then uh, he took me out skiing and stuff and it's just you know there's a lot of amazing organizations out there and on target for vets is one of them and it just it teaches you to like never stop dreaming never stop um pushing yourself and always you know you just you can still being disabled doesn't mean you can't do things it just means you have to learn how to adapt to it so being out there skiing is just another thing i adapted to and you know i, I praise october for vets for giving me that opportunity and it's just a great program love it love it there's no such thing as disabled guys there's you you set the limits there's no limits unless you set them god bless
all these notes, all people from the actual flight took the time to actually not only donate, but write on napkins, write on paper, whatever they have. They actually wrote down, you know, just their feelings towards veterans and guys who've actually lost their lives, guys that are still with us. And specific, specifically on this flight, it was us, since we're out here to ski and have a good time and come together and, and just really therapeutically come together and enjoy some time. These are all the notes. Pretty amazing. Look, from your pilots, that's awesome. Two, two cool guys. Jitch, believe me, not big, rocket man, you're my best bud, believe me.